Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Prophecy Box Breaks for a little bit of a surprise team break event. Today, in case you were unaware, we are going to finally rip open this shiny 2023 Panini Revolution WWE Hobby Box. Five cards per pack, eight packs per box. And although there are not any guaranteed autographs in this particular set, uh, you do definitely have quite a few chase cards if you're not familiar. Quite a few one-on-ones of -one have already been pulled from this product. The one-on-one of, -one of the Rock, I believe, sold for seventeen grand the other day. There are some absolutely ridiculous cards out of this set. We are guaranteed, on average, of course, eight inserts and four parallels, and we are just hoping to find us a couple of bangers. First off, once everybody is here, once we're ready to start, we're going to set up the randomizer here. We're going to determine who gets which lot, and then we're going to get to the ripping and the tearing. So we are definitely going to have ourselves a great time tonight. And we're going to get to the hey, hey there, Ken. Hey, Jasmine. No, we haven't, haven't done anything yet, Ken. I just went live to make sure that Sam is here. And uh, let's tag Ryan. I'm going to pull up random and get that ready. Jasmine, are you at work? Got the EO. Nice. Must not have been too busy today then, huh? We're going to give Looter just a minute. Hey, hey there, Sam. Glad you made it, brother. We're going to give Looter just a minute here and see if he's able to make it. Let me bring the light down. We're going to do a... Um, I'm going to do a, a warm open. We're just going to call it an exploratory rip after we do the, uh, the randomizer. And that way I can cut the front of this off and toss it up on YouTube. And we'll just... I'm just going to play it off like an exploratory rip. Uh, for the fun of that, but we'll we'll get the randomization. There he is. We'll get the randomization out of the way. We'll know exactly what's going off between us. Well, at least you're enjoying it and not uh, suffering it. So that's that's good to hear, Ken. All right. Once we got confirmation that Ryan is here, hearing and seeing everything, we're gonna we're gonna do the randomizer. Give us a give us a finger, looter. Let us know you're there. Come on, Ryan. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Do to do, do, do. Ah, we don't need to do that. We'll just do it like we'll just do it like normal. On average, non-base cards are included approximately one per pack. Gives you eight pulls for the ultra rare kaboom. There you are, Ryan. All right. So we're going to do this real simply. 
Uh, you guys picked your spot. Can you have spot one? Jasmine, you have two. Ryan has three. Sam has five. Everybody know that I've got four. Uh, let me show you this again really quick, just in case you want to take a screenshot of it or uh, you haven't taken it off the main or you want to write it down or something like that. We're going to put the one, two, three, four, five lots into the randomizer. I've got it ready. As usual, we're going to randomize this bad boy four times. And then... Uh, in whatever order, we're just going to pop those down. So you guys are going to keep the spot that you picked. We're randomizing the rest of it. Any questions before we get started? Any questions before we get started? Sorry if you can hear the echo. I've got you right up to my computer here. Seeing no questions, I'm going to go ahead and hit the randomizer as usual four times. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four. Take a good look. I'm going to copy it over. Lot one went to person one. Lot four goes to spot two. Lot three goes to th three. Lot five goes to me. Lot two goes to Sam. I'm going to copy everything over here. Give me one second. All right, here you go. Um, let me, just so that you've got a quick update, this is what we ended with. T Jasmine, you you got one of the one of the biggest hauls there in T. Uh, again, uh, you saw well, if you saw, I did put up the the little scoring summary, trying to spread out the wrestlers evenly, trying to spread out people the best that I could, give everybody a good shot. I'm going to copy this over onto my main screen, so if you do have any questions or if anybody needs to double check which spot they've got, uh, I can do that for you as well. Just about set, sorry about that. Okay. We are gonna get going here. All right, we're gonna do a quick open for uh, for YouTube here. Welcome back to Prophecy Box Breaks, everyone, for another exploratory rip. Today I'm here with a couple of folks from Prophecy Box Breaks, a couple of our staples, a couple of our big fans. We're going to rip into a box of 2023 Panini Revolution WWE. We are looking for short print legends, tag teams, factions. You know what we're looking for. We're looking for that kaboom action. We're looking for that one of one love. There's all kinds of amazing stuff that you can find in these boxes. I'm so excited. We are not going to wait one second longer. We've already gone ahead, had a, a little bit of a cage match that we're going to, well, we should have streamed live, but to determine who gets what, we'll figure all that out off screen. In the meantime, we are going to rip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs. Exactly what you're looking for. It's a huge box, but 
not as many packs as you'd expect. We're going to find six, uh, is it five cards per pack? Five cards per pack. We're going to jump right in. Uh, I'm going to grab a couple of plastics here. I got a feeling we're going to need them. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Pack number one. Very nice. Check out that base card. That is your base. That is Thea Hale, rookie. Right. Oh, oh, what do we have here? We have a liftoff die cut Alexa Bliss. Very nice. By far my favorite of the female talent in the WWE right now. Although she is going to be off for quite some time now that she's having a baby. But that is a, let me move the cards behind it so you can see. That is a beautiful kind of a rocket ship die cut. Very, very nice. We'll sleeve her up in just a moment. We have a Trish Stratus legend. That's going to be your legend base. And we have a Randy Orton. The red there, uh, I, uh, because he's a raw superstar. We didn't cover that earlier. Uh, gold for Thea Hall due to it being NXT. And here you've got Zelina Vega. If you hadn't guessed, that's SmackDown. She got a Legend, a Raw, a SmackDown, and an NXT, plus your insert. Love that mid-Fez press for Alexa Bliss. Pack number two. Guess we didn't need these extra two. Pack number two starts off with Quincy Elliott, rookie card, NXT. We have a tag team. This is the Street Profits. That's Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. Just checking each card here for numbered parallels. Something that looks this shiny, boy, you never know what you're going to find. Our first tag team card. We have, looks like an astral parallel for Revolution. This is rookie B-Fab. Not numbered. That is a SmackDown superstar. Not just conveniently wearing blue. We do have Tyler Bate, NXT. And Ronda Rousey. Her very short time as a WWE superstar is still in the product. Let's sleeve up the Street Profits tag team card as those are a bit shorter than the rest. Pack number two. Excuse me, three for those of us that can count. Pack number three starts off with Shotzi, SmackDown Superstar. Ronda Rousey is back wrestling again? Ugh. That's how, how little I watch WWE anymore. Big fan of some of the product. Uh, I don't want to see Ronda Rousey. Alright, so we have... A stargazing insert. That is absolutely beautiful. Charlotte Flair... That hollow is amazing. Numbered 65 of 99. 
There you go. Our first numbered hit is Charlotte Flair. Charlotte belongs to Mr. Ken Collins today. Congratulations on that pull, Ken. Nothing like the queen of the WWE. Brighten your day. We'll sleeve her up in a moment. We have the, oh, look at that, a uh, numbered version, numbered 96 of 99. Parallel, uh, look, blue parallel of Trish Stratus. Trish awarded to Jasmine today. Very nice. Two numbered hits back to back in the same pack. All right. We have a duplicate of B-Fab. Kind of sad there that in three packs we've already found a duplicate. And Luke Gallows for Raw. They are really nice cards. They, they really, really are. couple of numbered hits right off the bat. Uh, 96 of 99 and 65 of 99. Pack number four. So we are one up on our hits per pack at least. Although I suppose the... Well, now let me check here. Let me, let me reread this. What did this say? Yeah, tag team cards are short prints. So... Your Street Profits there. Uh, is it Street Profits or is it The Street Profits? Let's see. That is The the Street Profits. Jasmine, double dipping already. Same pack action. Love it. Let's see a couple more of those. Pack number four. Pack number four starts with Braun Strowman for Raw. We have Alundra Blaze. I'd expect that to be the Legacy, but it's not quite the right color. It is the Legends. Okay, Legends. Pardon me, not Legacy. Next up, we have what looks to be a disco parallel of Kevin Owens. Very nice. That one's got to be numbered. Oh, it's not. Oh, I really figured the disco would be, would be numbered. Love that card. Dropping a stunner on one of the Usos. We have Indy Hartwell for NXT. And Sheamus with SmackDown. Four packs to go. Ooh, this one starts with a rookie card of Maxine Dupree from Raw. All right, underneath, stargazing insert of the one and only Mankind. 25 years ago, two days ago, I believe, thrown off the Hell in the Cell by The Undertaker. As a kid, I swore he was dead. Not numbered, but a beautiful stargazing insert nonetheless. Behind him, Paul Heyman. It's a nice blue sort of a vortex. That is, in fact, numbered 47 
of 99. And what's better, what do we do here at Prophecy Box Breaks? Does anybody even remember? We pull beautiful, beautiful treasures. So not only do we have this awesome stargazing mankind, not only do we have this beautiful blue vortex Paul Heyman, but we have this absolutely beautiful Asuka autograph. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I love pulling autographs when there's no guarantee. We have done this time and time again over the course of the last year. That is the second time I've pulled an Asuka autograph this year. So it doesn't surprise me to pull Asuka. Love to pull it. Who hit the A today? <laughs> well, well, some guy named John was awarded the A today. Man, I pull autos. That's... That's what we do here through through blasters, through hobby boxes. It doesn't matter whether we're we're guaranteed one or not on average or not. Who has the peas? P went out to uh, Jasmine. Jasmine has P for Paul Heyman. So she is stacking up hits today. We're gonna sleeve. We got three pulls from that pack and end out with a Johnny Gargano representing Raw. Let's get these bad boys sleeved up. And it uh, looks like I was wrong. We should have left these out here. Three numbered pulls now. We still have three packs to go. We've already got a little more loot than I expected to find, man. This is uh, this is a pretty pretty crazy box, pretty crazy box. Let's see if we can't find us a Stone Cold Steve Austin in here. We've got Kofi Kingston. Oh, man, that would have been amazing. I'd love to have a Cactus Jack auto. We have John Cena representing Raw. Our next parallel. Wow, that's, that's absolutely beautiful. It's hard to look away. That is AJ Styles. That might be a Galaxy Parallel. Numbered 57 of 149. I should have had the checklist open. Let's pull that really quick so I can get the name of that. I said 149 is Cosmic. And it looks like the Disco Parallel is called Groove. So numbered to 149, that is your Cosmic Parallel. Excuse me, yeah, 149 is Cosmic. The, those numbered to 99 are Sunburst. So we have three of the Sunburst Parallel, one of the Groove Parallels, and this is our first Cosmic. AJ Styles. We'll sleeve him up in a moment. Clearing out the rest of this pack, we have Carmelo Hayes for NXT and Nikita Lyons, also NXT. Two packs to go. Can we find us just a little bit more treasure? It's kind of weird. Ryan Luter hasn't hit a home run yet today. Unless he used up his luck in another group. We've got Dakota Kai. NXT. 
That is uh, the ultimate warrior, in case you were unaware. Oh, I'm sorry, Dakota Kai is raw, pardon me. Ultimate Warriors from the Legend set. Behind him, Dexter Loomis. Dexter Loomis is not numbered. I would say this is probably the Astro parallel. We have Cora Jade, NXT. And Matt Riddle, representing Raw. The last guy I can think of, not a Samoan, to wrestle barefoot. Dude's brave. All right, well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll, we'll put AJ up here as our, well, no, I guess we've got numbered. Let's put Trish up here. We've got room for one more numbered hit. Good luck, everybody. We have The Miz. Became way bigger of a star than I ever thought he would be. Ooh, we have Finn Balor. It is an interesting insert here. What is... It's not a liftoff. It's not a revolutionary finisher. That is a shockwave. That is a shockwave. There are 30 cards in this particular set. Took me a minute to figure that one out. Finn Balor's first appearance today. Shockwave is not numbered. We also have a Carrion Cross Galactic Parallel. Sorry, the camera is really having a problem with some of the glare. Behind Carry On Cross, we have Kit Wilson, NXT, and Sonya Deville, representing SmackDown. And that is going to be our break, folks. Thank you so much for stopping by to check us out. As usual, we managed to find ourselves an autograph where they said there was none. Asuka gracing us with her presence today. Thank you so much for stopping by and being part of the Prophecy Box Break family. I can't wait until next time. We'll see you then.